Hello, people of YouTube and Instructables. This is my second ball machine, and it's not finished yet, but this is just a preview of it. This is my first needle lift that I've ever done. All my, my other one that I made had a chain lift, but now this has this lift and a generic chain lift also. I've worked hard on this lift. I spent about two days doing this. Almost two days, anyways. I could not get a loading system and the exit path going. Put a claw right here, but if I take it off here, this is a pretty good system that I made. So let me take it off and show you. Here it is. You see the ball actually goes on this panel, walled panel, you know, and it's tipping. And then it goes through the hole down to the pass separator, which has the first path leading out of it, which I'm going to show you. This is a pretty nice claw kind of system here. And the ball goes out just like that, since it's going against the panels, rests onto the structure, and goes down that narrow track right there. That wasn't too bad. Time consuming now. And once again, I could not find a good way to support a three-wheel track coming into this place. So I basically just took two rail tracks and made a free fall going out of it, which I plan for the first path on this chain lift to lead into that, which I could decide to shorten this free fall if I wanted to, but for now it's that way. So I'm going to show you how this works. Get this ball here. Yeah, just a generic chain testing ball. And it goes like that. A better view of it here. On the bottom here, it goes like goes in fast. I have a washer down the track because I didn't use tubing on it. Here's the lift running. And it's gonna pick up the ball and take it against the panel and onto the path separators at the end of the exit track. And I had difficulties putting this tubing on, but I managed. I thought it would be rather interesting and unique to make a half loop that doesn't have a very steep drop. Um, consequences that were unintended is it does doesn't have as much speed as a regular half loop would so i had to take the track and put it deep into the half loop instead of making a loop instead of making a um box that's at the top of it that makes it every single time it leads into this track right here which leads to the chain lift so i'm going to show you this half loop real quickly okay here it is Simple half loop. Took some time to put the tubing on just as the other track. Exhausting work, I know. And I'm gonna put it down this path and make it lead to it. So. There it goes. Then it and it goes down the rather shallow three rail track leading into the chain lift. I supported it well, and more supports will probably be coming. Above a se segment of the three rail loading track is a short free fall, and I'm I don't know how I'm going to plan to make up 
path going there, but since the arm is kind of blocking the way, but it should. And the track officially leads into there. Here's the top of the chain lift with my first pass separator. I'm going to turn it on and run the good old guy. Uh, comes. As you can see, the, low, the exiting path is so simple. I invented it and uh, incredibly simple. I didn't want the path over to be right there, right then. So I just made this short little track, which I intended to kind of be a little longer, but it turned out that way. Here's the both the lips running at the same time. I intend to name this ball machine Catastrophe, not in a bad way, I just thought the name sounded cool, and if you please to comment on this preview, you may suggest names and I might choose a different one if I please. So thanks for watching the preview of Catastrophe.